Well, finally this evening, when Robert Wells and Mel Torme wrote the Christmas song back in 1945, you know the one, sure with roasting chestnuts <laughs> on an open fire, they probably had no idea that chestnut trees in the eastern half of the U.S. were dying out. They're nearly extinct here, but a scientist at the University of New England and his students are trying to bring them back. And as New Center Maine photojournalist Sebastian Benage is about to show us, his project now has a partner who's ready to use American chestnuts in a pretty unexpected way. Prior to around 1900, the American chestnut tree was all over the eastern forests, from Maine all the way to Mississippi and across to Indiana. People sort of took it for granted because it produced lots of chestnuts every year. It was a key part of the American diet. But then what happened in 1904, it was discovered that this, this uh, fungal blight from Asia had been imported accidentally into the United States, and it wiped out more than three billion American chestnut trees. That was, that was news to me. I never knew the severity of the problem. The only thing I had heard about was like chestnuts roasting over an open fire. So what we're doing then is bringing this tree back. The science of bringing back the American chestnut tree involves inserting an extra gene in the chestnut. These nuts have been pollinated with, with special pollen that has this extra gene. We've taken a piece of the, the bottom of the nut, which is called the cotyledon, and we've tested it to see if this, this particular nut has inherited the gene, which it has not. So these then can be, um, can be made into ice cream. Fine. The magic's gonna happen and they're gonna get cooked down into some really awesome ice cream. About four years ago, my wife and I were brainstorming some holiday flavors and we thought, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, we should do a chestnut ice cream. People kind of don't know that chestnuts are rare and difficult to come by. At first, when we were selling it, people just like exactly what my wife and I thought at first, like, oh, chestnut ice cream, like, that's totally normal. Like, I don't think anyone can say they hate ice cream. I think this is a great way to bring people together to celebrate the chestnut. Who doesn't like ice cream, right? You know, maybe 1%. <laughs> well, for the other 99%, we're showing them something that is, uh, is attractive, it's delicious, and so it then makes people like, begin to think about how we can bring the chestnut back into our society as a central component, where it belongs, where it always was. And it is hoped that the uh, sweet cream dairy will have the chestnut ice cream ready to order online sometime in the next week or two.